It's a little chilly this morning, it's about 45 degrees. Here we are in a beautiful Placerville, California morning looking at a really neat little hot rod style pickup, 1940 Ford pickup. We're going to walk around and we're going to tell you what we know and what we see. Um, it is all steel. It has steel fenders on it, so on and so forth, front and rear. Um, it's a hot rod that's been done, uh, it was uh, just about 20 years. It was completed in 99 or 2000. This particular owner purchased it from the folks that... Uh, did the build on the truck and uh, he's owned it about six years or so um, neat little pickup it's got some pretty good ford and a ford horsepower underneath the hood it's finished in a midnight metallic blue uh, with a gunmetal gray body line separation here um, and uh, overall the, the finish on it is professional in nature but it's got patina character and age it's been used and driven and and loved and enjoyed uh, I believe on the odometer, we'll get around the other side, the truck has about 26,000 miles on it since the gauges were installed in it. Underneath the hood here is a uh, SVO, Ford SVO 351 cubic inch aluminum head V8 with about 400 horsepower, C6 automatic transmission, Ford 8 inch rear differential. On the frame here, it's a stock style frame. Um, it's got an updated uh, height Super Ride 2 front suspension in it with rack and pinion steering. It's got coilover shocks and tubular control arms, uh, disc brakes. Walk around and tell you what we know, and you're probably looking at it going, hey, wait a minute, that's 1941. Yeah, it has a 41 uh, hood or waterfall on it here. These are getting pretty hard to find. Um, and uh, beautiful piece of chrome. I think it's a nice addition to a 40. Um, Anyway, we'll keep walking around here and tell you what we see. Factory stock style bumpers. It's de it's deluxe uh, style headlight rims on it. Um, we don't know how the truck was originally built. This is more of a hot rod or a resto rod. With, like I said, you're going to find little things. There's a little chip here right where the chrome goes on. Um, the cowl vent itself has been removed because the truck has air conditioning. So they had to put all the goodies up underneath the dash here. Um, that it still has the uh, two-piece windshield in it. Nice little simulated knockoff style wheels on it. You know, you could probably change the wheels on this truck and update it just a little bit more modern. A little bit dated because of the age. Um, factory uh, or factory style antenna here. These are steel Drake running boards, and again, these are steel fenders right there. Going to give you a feel here. Again, we could pick it for a little flaw here and there, but we don't feel it's necessary. It's not brand new and it's not perfect. Um, if you want a nice little hot rod 40 Ford pickup that hauls butt, C6 automatic with a 400 horse 351 under the hood, crate motor. Uh, this is a, I believe it's Wabbits or Babbits. Um, I can't remember. I think there's a sheet here, but it's a Burlwood dash. Um, so it's got a custom dash in it with a uh, Jensen audio system. It's got a cassette player So that gives you the date of the build just a little bit Tilt steering column with a 40 Ford steering wheel Got an e-brake here. The e-brake works low car style shifter for the C6 automatic. It has a uh, velour interior vertical pleated custom interior button tucked in the back Also a velour headliner I'll get around the driver's side, you'll see that a little bit better. There's a little bit of where it needs to retuck the uh, upholstery on the headliner there. It's got a 48 inch rear differential with parallel leaf springs in the back, so typical chassis engineering update on it. Door jam to door jam, it's finished in the midnight blue. See my reflections in the side of it, so it's a good looking truck. Um, got good eyeball. Definitely wouldn't be embarrassed to drive this anywhere, I'll tell you that. Body lines are straight, it's straight, truck. Fenders are finished in a jet black. 
little uh, Ford V8. Uh, they highlighted the logo on the back of the tailgate here. Probably a reproduction bed or or tailgate. We'll get in the back here. We'll unsnap this and kind of give. We got a nice little tonneau cover so you can put all your chairs and stuff in it for the show. So uh, little stainless gate latches here, chrome chains on the back, factory style. It's had an up. It's got a uh, factory fuel tank in it, a new one. It fills where it normally would off the fender here. Um, I believe the fender on the passenger side I didn't show you, I could go back over there, but typically to have a spare indentation uh, for the spare tire on the passenger side, it would have that, but that was reworked and filled into the steel fender on the passenger side. Step back and let you take a look here. Great morning to do the uh, photo shoot and video, you can see all the reflections on this uh, old girl. Back of the cab's nice. Roof's nice. Again, you can pick it for a little bit of this or a little bit of that. There's a little chip here. We're trying to point out is it's not perfect and brand new. It's got about 26,000 miles on it. Uh, there's a little crack from a stone chip in the windshield here. I don't know where it hit at, but right probably near at the edge, probably right there. Uh, tinted glass on it. That glass is flat and easy to work with. Give you an idea of the door weltings here. Again, uh, lure interior. It's got neat little bottom of the door pockets there that are kind of cool. Factory style seat that lifts up the batteries underneath the seat. Light little update on the upholstery and the interior changed this whole truck and uh, modernized the wheels just a little bit. But uh, this one's going to be priced just right. A lot of horsepower, a lot of fun. So if you want a hot rod 40 Ford pickup, resto rod kind of feel, has a uh, tilt column in it. Manual steering. We get a lot of host of gauges here in the uh, Burlwood dash. We're gonna fire it up here. Starts right up. It's just got a rumpy rump in it, I'll tell you that. All right, it's got 20, excuse me, 28,478 miles on the odometer, and I'm gonna bet that since the build. is a crate motor, it'll go a long ways. Tack works, gas is showing a little low. Oil pressure is 70 pounds. Doesn't surprise me out of an SVL motor to have that good oil pressure. Temp's about 100 or so. 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half volts. You'll see the uh, little bit of patina on the dash here. Um, but again, it's just from being a use. Got a pair of dice on the dash here. I think there would have been a factory wiper switch there or something like that. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Let's step out, let you hear it run. Got a healthy sound to it. I believe it's got a crane cam in it. We'll have the specs in Spud's garage. We'll be underneath the engine compartment here in a moment. A little bit of condensation in the pipes. You can hear those Flowmaster mufflers. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely, it's time for you to get in. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more. Thanks for listening. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. We got a nice little Ford and a Ford here. Kind of favorite part is to get underneath the hood. This one's got a healthy little motor in it. It has a uh, uh, Ford SVO 5.8 liter 351 GT40. Uh, it's a bracket race motor. Uh, this is according to a spec sheet we have here from the gentleman he purchased it from. 401 horsepower. Let's kind of get in here and let you see what we see, but yeah, aluminum heads, serpentine belt drive system, it does have air conditioning, it has uh, short tube headers on it here, nice wire, uh, motorsport wire separators, motorsport wires, uh, that's a braided covering on the lines, it has uh, anodized uh, bolt caps on all the uh, components, the water pump, billet pulleys. Aluminum intake manifold. Uh, the spec sheet says it's a 750 CFM double pumper. 
Holly. Heater hoses going through the firewall there. Well, those are AC hoses going through the firewall. Heater hoses go down over and into the back. We're here. One wire high amp alternator. It looks like all Ford stuff hanging on it here. It has a uh, Motorsport high energy e core co coil on it. Again, short tube headers. This is a factory chassis car. Um, the carburetor is a Holly uh, performance carburetor, like we talked about. It has a uh, Heights independent front suspension on it up here. You'll see it there. So they've installed a boxing around for the support in that. It's called the Super Ride coil over, so on and so forth. Anyway, we're at the point where you're thinking you're getting the idea. It has uh, three electric cooling fans to make sure it doesn't boil over. Um, it's a lot of motor underneath the hood of this car, 401 horsepower. Uh, electric cooling fan there, and there's two additional cooling fans in the front. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. I forgot to cover. It has a C6 automatic transmission in it. Uh, I have a spec sheet here, so I might as well keep talking for a minute. Still want you to go to spudsgarage.com. has a uh, C6 Novotny built high performance with a low car shifter and emergency brake. Anyway, Ford 8 inch rear end. We appreciate you coming. Hang on to the end of the video where we'll definitely have more. All right, let's take a look at the bed like we talked about. Has a uh, stock style bed in it with stainless steel strips. There's access panels here. Um, there's an access for the uh, fuel sender in the back here. Underneath the tonneau cover, we'd like to give you an all around view. Go to spudsgarage.com. When you're done with the video, hang on. All right, we pulled it out of the driveway there just after doing the uh, walk around video. We thought we'd share uh, just a little bit of a rumble down the road. A um, little here, there's a little bit of play in the uh, uh, tilt steering bushings, which is not unusual when you have manual steering. Nowadays, they make that uh, upgraded uh, electric power steering gearbox. You could easily upgrade this to power steering either way with the rack or the or an electric. Anyway, we're going to take it for a spin. Just a quick little run, nothing big. Make sure nobody's coming. Woo, speed bumps, so I'm going to be careful. Hey, have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. We're going to take it down, turn around, and go back. Talk to you soon. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage and kind of give you a feel from the bottom side on it. Uh, get, this truck was restored in 99-2000 uh, era. Um, very uh, nice little pickup. Got a lot of horsepower underneath the hood. Uh, they've put uh, chassis engineering springs in the rear. Has a Ford 8 inch rear differential. CEI springs is what they call them, but they're chassis engineering industries. Um, they make kits for 40s. It's nice. Dual exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, the rear tires are a uh, Let's take a peek here. 275-60R15s in the rear. See the parallel leaf springs in the back there. It's all steel. Fenders, running boards, and body. Solid little truck. Has a uh, C6 automatic transmission. We talked about that. Underneath the hood, you already know that. There's the tranny pan on it. The height super ride suspension with rack and pinion steering. We'll get around the front here. Tire size on these are 245-60R14. Rack, manual rack and pinion steering. Height super ride front suspension. Tubular control arms. Coilovers in the front. Get a feel there. You can see the rack. It adds a nice, a nice ride to the front of these rather than the straight axle. Keeps the stock kind of feel on the exterior. Show you the uh, coilovers here. Super ride tag, I think, on the front of the axle there, or front of the cross member. It's a factory chassis truck has power disc brakes on it 
Again, C4 automatic, or excuse me, C6 automatic. Correct myself if I said that earlier, it's a C6. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com, give us a call. We're never any pressure. We have a great day. Thanks for watching.